Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite Oblivion side quest. Now, this is a really tough question, okay? So, real quick, we're getting rid of guilds. Because if you said, what is your favorite side quest? Most people would say some kind of guild. Probably the Vampire Hunter Guild. Let's just be real here. The Vampire Hunter Guild. And this is a really tough question for me, guys what my favorite side quest is. We're not going over the statues either, the Diedrich statues. We're talking about normal, normal side quests, okay? This is a really tough decision, okay? Now, sticking with the guild rule, if I really quick could pick a guild, it would be the Knights of Leowin because that's just a unique quest and it's pretty cool, okay? So if we could go with guilds, favorite guild quest, Knights of Leowin. It's a unique quest, it is really cool. And it makes you appreciate Leowin at least a little bit more and hate it a little bit less. But for side quests, a couple of quests come to my mind when I talk about side quests. There's four side quests that I really, really like in this game. There's the one where you go inside of the painting. There's the one where you talk to Umbacondo and collect the Aeliad statues. There's the one with Clarthier where he thinks he's everyone, or I think that's his name. I never remember his name. He thinks everyone's out to get him. There's also the Anvil House quest, and there's the one in the, it's kind of a side quest in the Mage's Guild where you go inside of someone's dreams and help them go through their nightmares. Now, those five quests are kind of my favorite Oblivion side quests. If I ever had to give those to someone, I would totally 100% make them do those five side quests because they're just absolutely really cool. Now, to really understand what I like in side quests, I had to think, because these side quests are very unique. Okay, Going inside of a painting is really unique. And collecting alien statues, while not unique, Oblivion does it in such a way that really amazes me. So, the first kind of quest I decided I didn't like was Clarthier's quest because... As cool as that is, I feel like it has the least amount of personality compared to these other quests. Another quest that I decided to get, you know, axe out was the Anvil House quest. Because while it is a very cool quest, I feel like it, again, lacks as much personality as I would like in my favorite side quests. However, I feel like also the execution on that quest was a little bit less than it actually could have been. I feel like it was if it was executed better then it would be a much better quest. So what do we have left? We have going inside the painting, we have Umbukando, and we have our good old going inside of dreams for the mages killed, okay? And I've decided between these three quests that collecting alien relics for Umbukando is my favorite quest in this game. Okay, now let me say something. Going inside the painting is extremely creative, and I have some nostalgia feeling because that was a quest that me and my brother did together. My brother. We didn't play video Oblivion a lot together, but it's got some good memories attached to it. The other quest, which is going inside of the Mage's Guild Dream, wow, cool. Okay, this quest is very cool. I feel like, again, it is not as executed as well as it could have been. It's a really unique quest, okay? The way that they set it up is really cool, but they just, I feel like they don't execute it as well as they could have. I feel like they could have made it more dreamy and more messed up almost, if you know what I mean. So we get to collecting things for Umukondo. Now, why do I like this quest more than the others? I think it comes down to explaining the lore of Oblivion. When you're collecting relics for Umukondo, you learn a lot about Aeliad Ruins. You learn about the Welkut Stones. You learn about the Varla Stones. You can read about them. You just figure out what they do. And you learn about, you know, all these undead places. And you get a really good feel for the Aeliad Ruins and the Aeliad people. You just understand them really well. I think that's why I like Aeliad Ruins so much, is the lore behind them is so cool. Now, as you go through this, you learn about this guy, Umbakano. He's a really cool dude. You learn about his other adventure and you eventually go on the quest to get the crown and everything goes haywire and all this stuff, okay? But I feel like what it does 
is it creates this researcher character who goes nuts. And it also, again, explains the alien ruins and you understand them a lot. And you, you know, it's a fetch quest, yes, okay? At its heart, what you're doing in these quests is very simple. <clears throat> you're going into alien ruins that are special and collecting an item that's worth 500 gold. And that's what you're doing. But what's cool is, you know, he builds up this statue collection, right? He has his little trophy case in his room, in case you didn't know that. And you see all the unique ways that they do alien ruins. There's one with, with like, chambers full of poisonous gas. And there's ones that are flooded. There's one alien ruin that you find, and I am dying to find it again in my full mage playthrough, that unless you loot something, nothing is spawned. Once you loot something, all the zombies and ghosts and stuff spawn. And it's just cool creative mechanics that they put into a dungeon along with learning how alien ruins are and the alien people. So that is my favorite quest, is collecting things for Umikano. I usually don't get them all because I just want the freaking crown, but I think that is the quest that really explains the game the most to me, and I really like it. So I would like to know what your favorite side quest is in the comments below. Um, also tell me your favorite guild quests. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.